Welcome back to Getting Real with Rail Andrews and Alex Rubina right here on your hometown station, AM 1220KHTS. Don't forget to download your free AM 1220KHTS app. You can take us with you anywhere 24-7, 365. It's really cool. I used it when I was in the Caribbean on a ship in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we like to hear from you. Give us a call, 661-298-5487. 661-298-KHTS. Listen, we got the real heroes in the state in the studio. Together they've lost over 124 pounds. I think it was 130 inches. But we didn't just lose weight because I'm a big advocate of that. You know, not about I want you guys to, you know, be in a healthier place than you were when you started. So uh, I'm gonna go down the, the, the row here. So Andrew, we I do a little test. First test I do is a mile. You get uh, 12 minutes to complete it. We do sit-ups, we do push-ups, um, we do squats, and we do burpees. We weren't able to do any burpees. Please don't say burpees. Yeah, burpees yeah. <laughs> so, Andrew, where were you, right. and oh. where did you finish today? Uh, at the beginning, I went over 12 uh, minutes on the, on the mile. And so you stopped us there, and so I would have averaged about 17 minutes. And today, on the final day, in 90 minutes, I finished under 12 at 11.50. It's awesome. So that's man. almost five minutes off of what I ran. And running, it, it was a challenge. When you said the first day, okay, we're going to do a mile, <laughs> I wanted to quit already. <laughs> I'm like, are we really running on the first day a mile? Yeah. Um, but we did it, and when I did it right now, I felt jacked. I was pumped up when you said yeah you made it and so i was ec ec ecstatic now push-ups where were you and where push-ups uh, i was on my knees doing the push-ups yes. i couldn't do one regular touch my chest all the way down on the floor and and today I did 14 awesome uh per perfect push-ups yeah so it wasn't just you know just a little down and coming back up sit it was all the way down and coming all the way back and up. your sit-ups where were you and where were uh, you sit-ups i could barely i was like barely even moving my head up but but now I went all the way up to my knees. Uh, I did 50, 50 correct ones. Awesome. Yeah, so it, it was going really good. And burpees, yeah, like you said, we didn't even have any. And we did, I was about 15. Uh, all the way on the floor too, not not on the adjusted ones. All the way down on the floor. So it was it was really eye opening, and I, and I just felt pumped up. I think we got a caller on the line. All right. Why don't you put him through? Oh yes, we got a caller, a special uh, person on the phone. We're caller, like, go ahead. Are you there? Yes, I am. Who am I speaking to? This is Tom Senior. Tom's Tom dad. Senior, Tom's dad. <laughs> hey, Dad, what's up? Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you, Real. Hey, yes, I'm here. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. You got something you want to say to Tom? Yes, I do. I just want to uh, tell him how proud me and his mother we are of him. We're very, very proud of him, and uh, just hope. Hope he keeps up the good work. Oh, thank you, Dad. Like a very thank nice you. program that Riel got him on, and he's we talk to him all the time, and he really loves it, and uh, and I think he's going to be dedicated to it. I really do. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm yep. getting up at four in the morning to do it. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> yeah. What does it mean to you to see that? You know, I mean, I just like to keep it real, Miss Billy. It, it means a lot to us. Believe me, we're three thousand miles away, and his mother just worries about him constantly. You know, about his weight gain, and uh, we're just so proud of him, real. We really are. Well, I can tell you, I couldn't be prouder either. I mean, Tom just shows up. I, I'm, I, I'm a little. I'm upset that he shows up with that Steeler shirt on, but oh, other, other than that. <laughs> Especially after last week, huh? Yeah. Did he send you that picture? Uh, did he send you the picture where he made me wear one? Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. No, hey, Dad, I don't, I, don't know if, I, I don't know if you know this or not, but, but Tom is, is really a hero, not just in, the, in here at work, but at the gym. Uh, there's something yep. special about him that he inspires people you know, and pushes people that you think that would, would have the discipline to push themselves. He's inspiring a lot of people. Yep, yep, yep. Does that sound like, some, does that sound like the, the Tom that grew up in your home? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. He puts his mind to something, he'll do it. And I just hope he just continues doing it. We really do. He will. He will. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. When Tom hits 100 pounds, and he will, uh, I'm going to come out to Pittsburgh with Tom, and, and uh, we'll d I'll personally... You have to be draped to in him. terrible towels. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Does that sound good? It sounds very good. I'm going to hold you up to it. Yep. Oh, I'm yeah, going to do it. Well, we got to record it now, so yeah. you can't, you can't <laughs> skip yeah. out of it. Yep. But, I want him to lose that weight the right way. Oh, yeah. and he, he is. Doing. 
Thank you, sir. Thanks for calling in. Thanks, Dad. Love you. Thank you for helping him so much. Believe me. Thank you so much, Bill. Love you, Tom. Love you, Dad. Thank you. Okay, man. Tom's dad. There you go. Wow. All the way from Pittsburgh. All the way from Pittsburgh. How does that make you feel, buddy? Yeah. Wow. That's great. I mean, they were listening, so it's awesome. (laughs) Makes me feel great. Um, As far as my... um, from day one, uh, my l- mile um, was about a, a lap and a half, and my back, my lower back started hurting me, um, so I didn't even finish the mile. Um, today, I finished in a little over 13 minutes. Um, today, thir- 13 and a half, I believe. Um, the sit-ups, uh, or I'm sorry, push-ups we did next, mm-hmm. and um, couldn't, couldn't do a push-up. Uh, the first day, and I did, uh, I believe, 16 today, and actual push-ups. Uh, sit-ups, we, um, you know, just doing them, I think I did about 25 or so, um, and they were just not, they weren't very good ones. There was, it was not really putting, you know, knees to, you know, elbows to knees. Uh, today I did 50, six, yeah, six, that, 50. Yeah. I did 50, and then um, we were doing squats and, and um, exceeded. I did 33, I think, originally, and I did like 60 today. Awesome. So, and burpees. And burpees, I did. I did 11 burpees, oh, burpees also. And of course, I couldn't do them day one either. And uh, keep saying burpees. I still, don't like, I still don't like them, but uh, I did them. <laughs> uh, I don't think anybody <laughs> likes burpees. Like burpees. It's, like, it's like punishment. <laughs> you, know, you know what's funny is that now when I see like a piece of pie or cake, I see burpees. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like a cookie is a symbol for a burpee for me, <laughs> or 10 burpees. Well, you know, it's, it's funny you say that, Alex, because I have this kind of motto in my head where if I I'm go out to dinner or something and I'm going to order dessert, it better be really good. Because if I take a bite and it's not like not killer, I'm not, I won't eat it. Because I know that if I eat that whole thing, I know that means burpees. It's be, so it's got to be worth it. It's yeah, it's got to be worth it, it man. That's yeah. If you're going to do something wrong, do it right. It's yeah. got to be worth it. It's right? got to be worth it. Now, I know, Kyle, you didn't get to do yeah. the final test today because you had a little bit of a back yes. thing, un- unfortunately. But the last time we tested, you were already yes. ahead of the game. Uh, yeah, and, and uh, uh, the one thing I wanted to mention is the last time I did this was uh, the last time we did the mile, we were like halfway through or something, and I shaved off 56 seconds off of my mile time, mm-hmm. which was, I've never even come close to doing that even you know my in, in that big of a jump you know um and i, I did want to say i don't have the numbers in front of me but um uh we do at at home uh every time we sit down for dinner we do what's called happy and sad so we all go around the table and we say one thing that made us sad today and one thing that made us happy and i remember um on just a bunch of different occasions that you know the working out and the goals that I, you know, I did, I ran a mile, I shaved 56 seconds off my mile. I, I did this many pushups. We did the, I almost said a swear word, but the, the hill sprints, <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, that was, it was kind of a hybrid, happy, sad kind of a thing. But yeah. I remember on several occasions that, uh, you know, I just reaching those little goals were, were my happies uh, at the yeah. dinner table. And so, that's um, awesome. But yeah, thank you. Can but I, I can cer- I mean, we could certainly tell the difference from, I know, yeah. Oh, thank, I'm sorry. No. Um, I know Andrew want to chime in on also, um, speaking of the heel, um, yes. we would do, um, <laughs> you know, we called it the stroll at Hart Park, and uh, it wasn't so much a stroll, it was a workout, and we were doing hills, and the first day we went, um, it was probably like the second or third day, I believe, and um, we did some thing, you know, some work, you know, some with weights, and then we to go up the hill it's a pretty you know pretty steep hill and you know andrew and i we couldn't get and we ended up walking up part of the way yeah Yeah, not even that not even to like a point in the in the hill that was even any incline or anything and um last week we were sprinting we did like eight sprints all the way up about 80 yards each yeah yeah. and and all the way with about a minute recovery in between each time we have that video up it's pretty impressive you should go back and check it out well i mean the the one thing you didn't film real was you know you you talk about those eight sprints up the hill Mm -hmm. the thing you didn't film is the first time we ever went to the park because we just walk we're here in new hall we just walked to new hall park it's what a mile away away. if that couple blocks away the walk was bad yeah and tom (laughs) Tom, we had to uh, tom had to stop a couple times just to just to you know walk and so uh that's just uh impressive 
you know that's just you know another feather in, in your yeah. guys's cap you know it's just an right. awesome 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 stuff and we would have to stop on the way back because we were carrying weights on the way yeah back. yeah but, uh, that's a little you know that's a little different though yeah <laughs> so what then not to i want to go back to what alex was talking about in the, in the beginning because it's important because a lot of people are getting ready for new year's resolution you know weight loss is a 250 i believe 220 billion dollar industry so the weight loss people love it because people continually lose weight they fail and then they get them back again so what would you th can i can i uh, chime in there i think it's a uh, you said a million or billion billion i think it's a billion dollar industry because there's this illusion that there's a magical pill out there that people can take and that they don't have to put in hard work and uh, I got to tell you, in, in my journey in this last four months has been a, a commitment to reinvent myself in the area of hard work. I mean, you know, yeah, you know, we can have surgery, but, but you know, the, the, the four guys you're staring at, the five of us, you know, know what it's like to put in some hard work. And we know what it's like to sacrifice, you know, what it's like to get up early in the morning while people are still sleeping. We're, you know, out there in the cold and, you know, whatever you're telling us to do, we're doing it. And I think that that is, you know, it makes it a little sweeter, I think, the, the results when you're really just digging down deep and finding that hero inside of all, that lies dormant inside of all of us waiting, you know, to be called forth. And, and I'm wondering what, I'd love to ask these guys what it took from them that, that they responded to the invitation. Because I'm sure it's not the first invitation you've had, right? No, no, what was yeah, it this no. time that you guys just said, all right, you know what? I'm willing to give it a shot. Well, I, um, I think thinking I, I had a, a lot more at stake now also. And I think my mind was, was right this time, too. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that's, I think that's the important thing. Your mind has to be willing to to go to the you know out of your comfort zone. And I knew I was going to be going out of my comfort zone. And uh, you know the first couple weeks were you know were really challenging. And of course you wanted to quit. But after I got there, and you know Coach Real was like, "All you need to do is show up. I'm going to make sure you know you're going to you're going to get through this." And then once you got past that little point in time, um, I think. After that, it was I was there was no looking back. Yeah, there was, and for me, it was <clears throat> having again the right time, but also having somebody to to kick me in the butt and say, "Hey, um, you said you were doing it. Where are you at? Show up." And I'm like, "Well, dang, okay, yeah, I did say I was show <laughs> up, so okay, let me do it." And then afterwards, I'm I'm showing up and then asking the other guys, "Where were you at?" Mm -hmm. So just just pushing each other and having that there and having right. you know somebody other than yourself because as you alluded to earlier, you 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 we lie to ourselves so many times. That's why we're in this situation. That's why I was in this situation mm -hmm. because I lied to myself and said, "Oh, I'll do it tomorrow." The the old adage, "I'll do it tomorrow." But when someone says, wait, you're not doing it tomorrow, you're going to do it today, I'm like, okay, then I'll do it today. <laughs> so just having that group, and that, that's what really changed this situation from any other situation I was in. I agree with Andrew. It, 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 this situation was... Um uh, because uh, we've done this before we did it in the past, but it wasn't really that organized. Um, and it yeah. was kind of you know, here, there's a workout you can go to if you want, or you should go to, but if you miss it, it's not that big a deal. What do you, when you say it wasn't organ, that organized, did, what do you mean by that? Oh, well, that was what I was just explaining. It was like they, they signed us up for this. We signed up for this program, and um, there was a, a workout that wasn't, you know, that wasn't, it wasn't mandatory kind of a thing. Um, with this, Real came in, and he's like, listen, dude, we're going we're gonna to bring the weights here. We're bringing the gym to you. And um, it, was, it was a situation where I couldn't say no. We couldn't uh, get you know, away I could, Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, I, it, I couldn't say no because, because the opportunity presented itself and, and um and and what he was saying like i could make excuses because i don't want to go i don't want to go to this gym over here um because you know i want to go home with my family but at lunchtime at uh, using our lunch break to work out um it was i, I thought it was like a perfect storm so i'd like to elaborate a little bit on this just i know we got a caller but i want to elaborate just a little bit because i think this is important well, what i'm hearing you say is that in, in the first invitation you had was more like we're, we're we're creating this customized program for you and then it was put into your lap and it was more like all right when you feel motivated go ahead and and and, and implement it and i think the difference this time was that real decided 
the, the Riel with his invitation, it wasn't something that you were just going to give to them and and say, I'm going to here's a bunch of product and here's some exercise moves and and then when you figure it out, you know, go ahead and implement it. You basically signed up and you made a commitment. Mm-hmm. Well, you decided that you were going to show up and that he was going to drive it. Like like I own this, I own the results, and that and I'm going to give myself permission to to handhold you and push you and tug you and pull you and do all the things that I need to do to kind of kickstart this. Well, that and, and it's funny you mention that is because the first time before we even started working out, I don't know if you guys remember this, but Rayal said, "Listen, I just brought a bunch of balacors here and I brought a bunch of weights here, so." You guys know that I'm committed to you guys. Yeah. Now it's time for you guys to commit yourself to that, me. Right. Yeah, he want the only commitment he was saying was uh, just give me that yes, just show up. Yeah, and then and then we'll do the rest together. Now, did that mean a lot to you guys that he was actually put? You know, I mean, offering this out just oh, blindly, sure. just out of taking time out of his day every, you know, three times a week, and he was driving down here and pushing stuff out of his own personal schedule to make sure you guys win. Definitely, definitely. I mean, words can't describe how grateful I am to him, and um, didn't want to let him down. Obviously, I don't let myself down, but I didn't want to let real down either and um you know i can't wait to see continue i think i think that you know as a coach sometimes we'll go we'll take it you know in the beginning if you if you got to use me as that leverage for you to to show up i'll take it because i know at a certain point there'll be a a pivotal switch where you'll make it about you and then that you'll own it and i think uh, you and i know as a coach we'll we'll take that all day long just to give you enough time to buy in and say and to you it clicks for you to say now now i'm doing it for me at first it was for my coach now it's for me that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. listen, guys, uh, before I get all emotional here. Um, it's too late. You're already, already there. <laughs> we got a caller on the line. Please, Justin. <laughs> caller, are you there? Yes, I'm right here. Go ahead. Hello. Hello. Hi. I, I'm Diana. Um, I guess I can call myself Tom's friend. We <laughs> work course, out together. Of course. Of course. <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to call to, to say, Tom, I think I've told you before, I'm really proud of you. Uh-huh. And uh, you are an inspiration to many of us in class. Um, and we've seen your transformation, and I couldn't be happier for you. And as, as well as the rest of the guys, I don't personally know them, but I've seen their, their change, their transformation as well. So um, high five to all of you guys. And uh, I got to add, I think Coach Rail's uh, commitment to everybody in his classes is what keeps us going and motivates us to show up every day. I agree. I agree. Thank you so much for the kind words, Diana. And and you inspire me and, and everyone in our class. And it's just, I just look forward to it every morning. I really do. Yes. And when you're not there, we do miss you because I, I pointed it out to you today. I said, hey, I, yeah. I haven't seen you in the last couple of days. Yeah. So, I, you know, it's good to see you there. Uh, you know, and I want to see you there all the time. Oh, I, I will be. I will be there. Thank you, Perfect. Diana, for the Thank call. You, Appreciate Diana, you calling so in. You're Thanks. very welcome. Thanks you guys for, have a good day. You too, Thank Diana. You. Thanks for calling in. You know, I think the special is that you know when when you put together a team of people and you ha- and you all come together for a common goal i think there's something special about that mm-hmm. you know especially when it comes to working on and, and i've never been you know a, a part of any kind of military team but but you hear you know s- s- a lot of the veterans talking about a brotherhood and and i got your back and i and i'll take one for the team and that kind of stuff it it, it really feels that special it feels like you know we're one it feels like we're a unit and there's something special about this team that we create especially this inner Circle team and and the people connected around it. There's something special about that. You know, we, we we look out for each other. We we really authentically care about each other, wanting each other to win. And I think there's you know that's there's some magic in that. And I think that you know if you're listening and want to and, and and can't figure out how to motivate yourself, go plug yourself into a team because there's teams all around us here in the Santa Cruz Valley where people are are fighting for their greatness and and really working on themselves. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you can connect with me too at joincoachrail.com. Um, I'm happy to help you with questions and give you motivation. You know, I, I'd like to know, uh, I'd like to go around the table. Um, and if we could think of one thing, I'll start it off. One thing that we can give people listening to help them be accountable. As my, I'll give you the one thing here, a text group. As my phone's going crazy right now, we have a text group with, you know, uh, people in the class. And we motivate each other. We help people 
people get up. So that's an idea. Um, what about you, Alex? For me, it's reaching out for uh, some support. You know, when it comes down to anything that you're struggling with, it's it's always, I think the first part is being honest with yourself, and I think honest is key. Hey, I need I need some support. I need someone else to help me get past that little hump so that I can pick up some momentum. So find yourself a coach or a mentor or a team or a group of people that can handhold you until you pick up some momentum we don't just start off running we have to start by picking ourselves up and then start walking foot you know left foot right foot and then before you know we start trotting people don't just get up and start trotting on their own they, they use some kind of a support system they, and I, I want to say one thing that to, to piggyback on that Alex one thing that I love that you did you said I'm turning myself over to you. I'm trusting in you that you can help me. I would encourage people, this has one, been one of my biggest pet peeves over the years, I would encourage you first and foremost to go get a coach, to go get help like Alex says, but then trust in their process. Don't go get a coach and then tell them what to do or pick and choose what you're going to do. You know, it's like if I hire a lawyer, I'm not going to tell them how to do my case. If I hire somebody to paint my house, I'm not going to tell them how to paint. If I hire somebody to give birth to my baby, I'm like, whoa, wait doctor, let me tell you how you're going to do this, okay? Because i got a better idea over here. No, you need to trust the process. I love that, guys. Uh, real quick, we got a couple minutes. Andrew, what's uh, up? Just to go back on Alex, find somebody that's not going to say yes or to, to give in to your net, your neck, neck, neck negativity uh if you miss a workout and they say well that's fine you'll just work out tomorrow you have to find that coach you have to find that coach that's going to say no you're going to work out today and and have that support group because that's that's so good to basically have. what you're saying is don't don't find someone that's going to sell you out yeah and quite often a lot of times and this is from my experience people that sell you out are are your close friends if you think about it, it's when you, you know you, the kind of friends you want to pick are the ones that are gonna when you come in and you're being the victim and you're whining and complaining. You know, do you want friends that are gonna pat you in the back and agree with you, or are you gonna want the ones that are gonna go, well, Call you know, you have have stuff. you yeah. have you been Call a you jerk out. lately? Yeah. You know, the ones that are gonna kind of challenge you, and yeah. so you know, you're, you're if you're gonna turn to your friends to motivate you, that's probably not a good idea. You want to find somebody that has the ability to rigorously challenge you and is not um, attached to being liked by you. That's why, you know, my job as a coach, when, when, you know, there might develop a friendship or not, but the friendship isn't because because I'm I'm coddling you or I'm patting you on the back. The friendship's going to develop because uh, we, we, we developed a love-hate relationship. In the beginning, you hate me, and then at the end, you start to love me. And so that, and, and I noticed that's uh, kind of the relationship that you and I had, and I know you <laughs> felt that. No, seriously, guys. When oh, we were, yeah. No, I remember Alex coming yeah. in saying, I need that guy to shut his yeah, mouth. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> There were, some, there were some days that, you know, I just, you were, it was like I was, you know, okay, give me a hundred, you know, sit-ups. And I'm, you know, struggling at 30 and you're like, come on, buddy, you can do it. And I'm like, shut up. Yeah. Like, I don't want to hear you rah rawing me. I just, I just need to get in the zone. So there were days that, that I didn't like you. And then, uh, then all of a sudden it, there's a pivotal switch to where I, I, I love you. And so, it, and, and that's the way it is for, for coaches. When you find somebody who really fights for you to win, they're, they're, they're committed to not, they're committed to having you break through something and, and they're not going to sell you out and those are the kind of people you want to surround yourself around absolutely are we uh, taking a break or call yes okay we're going to take a quick break you're listening to getting real with rail andrews and alex urbina we'll be right back Welcome back to Getting Real with Rail Andrews and Alex Urbina. We've been talking with the real heroes, weight loss, amazing testimonies, amazing stuff. We got a caller on the phone. Kurt, are you there? Yes, sir. What's going on? I, I just want to know how come I wasn't informed that the uh, I Love Tom fan club was going to be on <laughs> there. Uh, there it is. <laughs> I don't think anybody was informed. We just all fell in love with them and just all came, decided to to profess our love for them. Well, and I think that one of the things I'd like to say, hi, Tom, how are you? Anybody, anyway. Good, Kirk, how are you doing? Say, in, in the beginning, you could see Tom seeing this mountain. Yeah. And, and, and he, you, could, you could see the, the encouragement that he would give people, but he, he would look at it as a mountain. And as I work out with him, um, not lately, but as I work out with him, you can see that that mountain isn't what it used to be. It's more like a, instead of seeing the big picture, he's seeing this day by day, and he yeah. does put everything into it, and he is very inspiring. So you know, you know what's funny you. is that um, 
he's just like you, Kirk. You guys are cut from the same cloth. Mm-hmm. You inspire him, and he inspires you. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm an observer. That's my job. And I've been sitting back watching the whole journey, and I watched you inspire him just as much as he inspired you. Yeah, we have a great team, Every, and I remember you talking about that, Kurt. But Kurt, I don't. I want. I appreciate you calling in, Kurt. We're we're short for time, and I just wanted the the real heroes to get a thought out there. Maybe you even have a quick thought before you jump off, because I know you were pretty heavy yourself at one time. To the person out there right now that's listening to this, that's sitting at home, sitting on the couch, they haven't got on the couch. They're like, I I I'm not able to do this. This will never happen. What's something you would say, Kurt? You got something quick? Well, you, the, the thing is, most important, you have to find something that you like, and, and you have to take that first step. And if you don't, you'll never know what's out there. Awesome. Thank you. And- right. And mine is, don't look at that mountain. Uh, everybody climbs Mount Everest the same way, one step at a time. And don't yeah. look at, oh, there's, I have to get 100 yards away from here. Look at, let me get five, and then let me get that other 10, and then take small chunks out of it, and you'll get there in no time. Yeah. And my, and my, my turning point was, um, I was always trying to, to try and go with the pack and try to beat the person that was in lead. And um, the day that I, you know, reality finally sunk into me and said, you just have to go one more than you did yesterday. And that, after learning that, it, it, it just, it clicked. Awesome. That's it, good stuff. Uh, I, I want to echo what uh, Kirk said and, and um, find something you like because um, there's workouts you can go, oh, you know what? This year, the first of the year, I'm going to get a gym membership. I'm going to go to the gym. And then you get there and it's like, gosh, there's so many people here. I hate this place. <laughs> like, I come here and I get tired. You know, when it, when it came to working out with these two bozos, we uh, <laughs> like, we had fun. We had like a lot of fun working out. And then, yeah. so that, that helped out a lot. So if you, if you find something that you enjoy doing, um, you enjoy spending an hour working out with people. You find that group of people that you like to hang out with, um, and and don't climb the mountain. Just like one day at a yeah. time. You're not. I'm not. I don't. I'm not. Wasn't trying to be better than Tom. I wasn't trying to be better than Andrew. I was trying to be better than myself. That's so. awesome. And you know what, what I would say, guys, if you listen to anybody out there right now, is you know something I actually have learned from Alex, and I know more than better now is don't be looking at the past. The past is gone, and the past is just you know your ego and that trying to keep you back in that past. Don't worry about the future, like these guys said. Just be present. Just show up. That's all you got to do. Just show up. Find a coach, somebody you're comfortable. You know, if you need help, I'm here to help you. You can reach out to me. JoinCoachRail.com. You know, Alex has got a website. How can they get in touch with you, Alex? AlexRabina.com. AlexRabina.com. But find somebody. Talk to somebody that, that, that'll just help you. Not that's going to just, like Alex said, say, you're okay, you're good. No. Somebody who's going to get real with you, no pun intended, and tell you like it is, and then just take action. Take back control. You don't just listen to this show or whatever and then do nothing about it. Take action, please. I encourage you. You're all able to do anything. You're able to do great things. I hope to hear some amazing stories from you in 2016. You're listening to Getting Real with Rail Andrews and Alex Urbina right here on your hometown, hometown station, station, AM 1220, 1220 KHCS. KHCS. Alex, you got a parent thing coming up? Big shout out to Londi Aguilar for listening and all the people Woo. in the inner circle. Yes. All right, Big Londi. Shout out. Woo, shout out. All right, guys. Take care. Happy, Happy New Year.